G'day guys, welcome back to the Freo Newsroom. Been a while since our last show, three weeks I think, Gaz. Has been a little while, mate. Now, uh, we took on Port Adelaide, and uh, can you give us your 3-2-1? We, uh, we obviously won the game, so it shouldn't be too hard for you. Oh, thanks, Gaz. Uh, three votes will, uh, for me today will go to uh, Nat Fife. He's been great all year, probably our best player so far this year. Uh, Nicky Lower for two. Nicky Lower. Our mate Ed. Played well. Um, <laughs> yeah, he played really well, played really well. A marking target down there. And uh, I'll give one vote to uh, the helmet head, Matt DeBoer. I thought he did a good job on uh, Travis Boat. So uh, it was also Tendai's first game for the club. Come on as a sub in the last quarter, and uh, he was really good when he came on, had an impact. And uh, we also had a bit of unluck with Big Spotty going down with his, uh, with his toe. So hopefully we'll be back in a few weeks. I think he's about four weeks away. Sweet. That's what we're here for, the news guys. <laughs> Now, speaking of injuries, uh, last time on the show, we asked you to send in a few suggestions for our uh, injured mate, Nick Subin, uh, to occupy his time while he was uh, off his feet. Yeah, young Grilsey, we had some, uh, had some excellent suggestions. We had a few, like, learning to knit. I reckon Grilsey would go right at knitting. No, I don't think he'd be very good at that. Uh, getting in touch with his feminine side by watching some chick flicks. He's already pretty feminine, isn't he? Um, prepare a comedy routine. That I would love to see. Uh, prepare his own Docker TV segment. That's something we should get onto. And playing some AFL Live on PS3. We actually had a little game of AFL Live about two or three weeks ago, and Soup's is no good. So uh, he'll keep practicing, but at the moment he's not quite there. All great suggestions there, Crowds, but the uh, the winner was Andrew Erkins. Erkdog. <laughs> Andrew yeah. suggested that Nick should number one watch Forrest Gump. Uh, number two hit the weights, which uh, which he knows that he's been doing. And number three, learn to cook so that you can take care of me. That was some uh, excellent suggestions there, Andrew. And uh, the prize is four tickets. That's right, four tickets will be coming your way for this weekend's match. So well done, well done with that. Now winter is upon us and we've decided to check out some of the winter gear in the Frio Team Store. Uh, let's go to our Frio Team Store Challenge now. Hi guys, welcome to the Team Store Challenge. Item number one that we're going to be guessing the price of is the uh, Player Synergy Jacket between $100 and $110, and uh, Gaz, you're going to have a guess first. I reckon it's going to be about $106. Uh, $108. Uh, $109.10. $109.95. <laughs> 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 Go to the crowd. <laughs> One nil. Item number two is a Fremantle Mohawk beanie. <laughs> Uh, price between twenty and thirty dollars. Ryan, you got the first guess. Well, I'll go with the theme. We're going twenty-five dollars. Twenty-two fifty. Twenty-three seventy-five. Twenty-three ninety-five. Twenty-three ninety-nine. Twenty-four sixty. Twenty-four seventy-five. Twenty-four ninety-five. Yeah, one H. Idiot. <laughs> Hey, item number three is the uh, game day hoodie, valued between $65 and $80, Gaz. Um, I'm going to say $75. $79. Uh-oh. $79.45. Silly boy, $79.95. <laughs> hey. Item number four, a free metal scarf, valued between $15 and $25. Ryan? Uh, I'm going to say $22. $24.95. <laughs> <laughs> this is our deciding challenge. Yep, item number five, the fedora hat, guess. Lovely. Uh, value between $15 and $30. Uh, my guess would be $20. $29.50. $27.55. $27.55. Hey! <laughs> well done, guess. Unlucky. Thanks, mate. Crowds one, Gaz nil. <laughs> well, wow, Gaz, looks like there's uh, some pretty exciting stuff in the team store at the moment, so be sure to head online and uh, just visit the uh, the club website, which is uh, www.freemanlfc.com.au. Click on the uh, online team store link. This week we had a very important event at the club. Yeah, mate, this week we had our uh, annual HBF Bravery Award. The HBF Bravery Awards recognise 12 young people and their families. Let's have a look at some of the footage now. We are here this morning to acknowledge and congratulate 12 worthy recipients and celebrate the brave stories which demonstrate the amazing strength and determination displayed by these special people who for one reason or another have passed through the wards of hospitals within the South Metropolitan Area Health Services. Five year old Jamie Lee's medical journey began at 15 days old when his parents found him um, blue and grey and not breathing in his bassinet. 
As a baby, he had a lot of eczema and rashes, and his nanny used to say that it was like he was allergic to his own mum. Mum tells us that although he hates having oxygen masks on, he never complains and has his Benzlin regularly, regularly throughout the night without a fuss. Kayla has had lots of admissions to hospital since she was diagnosed two years ago with a condition that affects her kidneys called nephrotic syndrome. Amanda, we admire the bravery you showed through your ordeal, particularly at a time particularly as it came during a very stressful time of your life. Well, guys, it's great to see some of our new recruits doing their bit in the community. That's right, mate. Speaking of community events, our 2011 Gala Dinner Auction is fast approaching. The auction raises money for our Community Goals Program. That's right guys, one of the highlights of the year, the gala auction. Um, here are the event details on the screen now. The 2011 gala dinner auction, Wednesday the 8th of June 2011 at Burswood Grand Ballroom, 6.30pm for pre-drinks, tickets are $175 each. To purchase tickets, call the club on 08 9433 or visit the website to download the form. Also some good news, Garrick and I will be uh, working our way around the room and reporting that night, uh, so keep an eye out for that on the next show. The theme for the night is around the world. Now, Krauss, I know you're a bit of a traveller. Uh, what's your favourite place you've been around the world? Uh, we've talked about this before, Garrick. Uh, my favourite place that I've been uh, a few years ago, me and uh, a couple of mates, uh, our mate Byron. We went, to, uh, we went to Copenhagen in Denmark, and uh, that was probably my favourite destination. I really enjoyed it. That brings us to our next competition, to win two tickets. That's right, two tickets to our uh, Round 12 match against Steph. <laughs> Email us on dtv at fremantlefc.com.au where you would like to take Ryan and I on a holiday anywhere around the world. Guess. Finally, the game day info for round 10. Yeah, guys, this weekend's game is our, uh, our really good friends at 92.9's uh, match day and they'll be uh, handing out some posters before the game. Make sure you look out for the 92.9 staff around the ground. Grab a poster and give it a good wave. Yeah, 92.9 have 12,000 of these, uh, these bad boys. Sure if these are bad boys, but uh, bad boys posters to hand out before the game, so keep your eye out with them. Um, my photo must have got cut off the edge there, guys. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you feel <laughs> quite there, mate, but uh, you're on the left there. <laughs> Finally, the match day info for this round. Round 10 versus St Kilda, Saturday 28th of May at Patterson Stadium, 1.10pm bounce down. So finally, after a three week layoff, thanks for uh, tuning back into a huge episode newsroom. That's right, and don't forget to tune in next time when we speak to some of the boys live from the Gala Auction dinner. Uh, hopefully see you all at the game and uh, make sure you're waving your posters. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Here's this week's team list to close the show.